What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Rank and Noob. I'm back at it with another video for Fallout 76. And today I'm going to be sharing some of the comments that you shared with me about a video a couple of days ago. When I talked about how all the new vendors are now consolidated in White Springs and how it's easy to kind of sell some items in order to get your money for the day. A lot of you shared some other methods that you use as well, and I figured I would make a video about all the different methods that we're using just to help you all make the decision what method might work best for you. But hey, if you guys also want to check out some cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. They got a lot of cool Fallout gear, so I'm going to be putting their link down in the description along with a coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. So to start off, I figured I would take GT, uh, GT Torino and Jose's advice by heading down to West Tech. Now in my last video, what I did was I was grinding at Blackwater Mines to sell some items to the vendors, but they recommended I came over here because these uh, super mutants have a tendency of dropping assault rifles, which sell for a pretty penny at the vendor. So uh, it seemed like it was worth coming down. And just to sprinkle some cherries on top, you know, super mutants do have a tendency of carrying caps a little more often than most enemies, at least in this gamer's experience. Not to mention that you're likely to come across at least one legendary while you're here. I, I find one legendary inside every single time, but you can even find legendaries outside. Now, whether or not they drop any good gear is questionable, but a lot of the times the legendaries at the very least sell for a pretty penny, so they're definitely worth picking up. So go ahead and kill all these super mutants inside and outside. Grab up those assault rifles because they're going to sell for anywhere from 25 to 35 caps per, just depending on uh, what attachments they have on them. Also, another thing that they're dropping is these uh, laser rifles as well. So those are worth picking up. And those usually sell for quite a bit less, but since you're already in the area, it doesn't hurt to pick them up. Now, the one thing you might have a problem with is there's so many super mutants there dropping so many things that you may become over encumbered. So make sure you got some good carry weight capabilities while you're doing this. But as we head over to the vendor, we can see these laser rifles are going for around 30 caps per. Mine said 27. This all depends on your build, what perk cards you have, if you're taking any kind of aid items like Great Mintex. Um, but ultimately, you know, you're going to be able to sell those for about 30 a piece. Aside from that, we have the assault rifles, and the value of the assault rifles just depend on how good of an assault rifle it was dropped, basically the attachments on it. You can see here it's anywhere from 42, and the short assault rifle is about 24. So you can, uh, you can definitely wipe out 1,400 caps from these vendors pretty quickly with a run like that. So the next uh, next method was brought to us by a Big Dog, who suggested rather than running around looting dead uh, enemies, why not just craft some items? More specifically, the Marine Tactical Helmet. And the Marine Tactical Helmet's a good choice simply because it takes very little equipment to or items to craft. It takes one glass, one plastic, and three pieces of rubber. All items that you likely already have on hand and plenty, but if not, you can usually just go claim a workshop junkyard and get all these items in bulk. Uh, but once you craft them, and if you craft them at White Springs, you don't have to worry about over encumbering yourself because you're right next to the vendor. But these vendors are going to buy these for, in my case, like 27 caps. But again, that, that's going to change based off of your build, your perk cards, and any eight items that you have active at the time. So this is really quick and really easy. You'll be able to bleed those vendors of their, um, of their items or their caps really quickly. So great advice from uh, Big Dog. If you don't have the blueprint for the Marine Tactical Armor, I did a full video on the Marine uh, Under Armor. So I'll put a dis uh, link down in the description. Check that out to help you get that blueprint. So the next method still circulates around crafting, but as C Shark Bites mentioned, crafting items like eight items are usually a good se uh, seller. But to follow up with that, Ha Holman mentioned out of eight items, mutation serums are the real money maker. And I couldn't agree with this anymore. These things sell for a huge amount of money in the vendors as far as most items go. The only downside is, of course, that you do have to have some flux in order to craft those and, of course, the recipe. But if you take a look at the vendor, these vendors are paying well over 400 caps for these things. In this case, 430 caps for this uh, grounded serum. 
And I believe all the serums are going to sell for the same price. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments because I've been wrong before. But ultimately, this is the best way to clear out those caps from these vendors moving forward. In the past, you couldn't even sell these things to the vendors because the vendors didn't keep enough caps on hand. They only had 200 uh, on them. And so you couldn't sell these things to vendors. But now with the new patch, this is probably the absolute best way to clear out the vendor caps uh, stashes. Um, but the problem, of course, with that is you need the recipes. Now, there's two different ways to get the recipes. The first of which is that it's a random drop from, at least in my case, I got my recipes off of the Scorch Beast Queen, but it is possible, maybe, I'm not sure, that it could be any Scorch Beast that drop these recipes. So if you want to hunt them down, go and kill some Scorch Beasts and see what you find. But your best bet is dropping a nuke and fighting the Scorch Beast Queen. The other option is you could go down into the White Springs bunker and talk to Modus. Uh, now, Modus is going to be able to sell you the serums or the recipes. I thought I had the uh, recipes recorded, but apparently I didn't. But the recipes cost almost 20,000 caps. It is a lot of money. I guess you could consider that to be an investment, but it will take you quite a while to get your money back if you go that route. My recommendation is uh, go and kill some Scorch Beasts. But ultimately, if you have absolutely no luck doing that, you do have the second option. So that's just a few of the tips and tricks that you as the viewers shared with us down in the comments about how to make easy caps off of these vendors, but it's definitely not the only methods. Nonetheless, for those of you that didn't have the opportunity to catch those comments, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you do, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you all next time.